or the sign of cancer. Hello and welcome to my channel. And you're going to start to feel more hopeful about the future than you have in a while. You'll probably feel more confident that your needs are being met, whether it's emotional or financial. It could be both. Just know that nothing can be taken for granted, but it's unlikely that your confidence will be misplaced. This is also a spiritual card, the star card, and you could find yourself, at least for a time, feeling at one with all of creation. It's not a common feeling, Cancer, so make sure you savor it. So, the star card is paired with the five of wands. Now, this five of wands, as you can see in the picture, these men look like they're about to beat each other up really bad with a wand. So, it usually refers to competition. It could be work, career, but it sometimes means uh, romantic rivals. Don't be afraid to compete. Coming up in May, know that you have something to offer and you can be really successful. But, keep in mind you're going to have to try to see the results. Your need to believe in yourself is stronger than ever coming up in May. So make sure you just hold your head up high and have faith that you'll end up in the place that's right for you. Now, you may be thinking of a career change. Just know that you can be successful with that too. So, basically coming up in May, for you, Cancer, we have the Star and the Five of Wands. And paired together, they're basically saying that there could be some type of competition going on. Could be with work, could be with your person. The person that you're dealing with may be being pursued by several people. If this is the case, give it your best shot because you need to know that you've done all that you can do for this relationship where your heart is involved. Or this could work the other way around. You're being pursued by several interested people romantically. And because it's with a star card, yeah, it's... A, it's, um, it's about a time of feeling renewed. You have a lot of renewal. You have a lot of renewed hope, inner clarity. Um, you could be in the spotlight with the star card. And it's causing competition. Yeah, but it, um, it brings a lot of hope and faith, though. So, whatever the competition is, it looks like you come out on top. But there will be some type of struggle for dominance. And you're the one who comes out. You're the one that everyone sees as a star. Okay, so there is no more hurt or suffering from this competition. It's all released. Uh, whoever you're dealing with, they see you the star. You're the one that they want. If they were being pursued by several people. They choose you, Cancer. Okay? They choose you. Yeah, because the star card, when it, when it talks about uh, if you're in a relationship already, it can become committed and could move to the next level, move to a new level. One that is not only higher, but more fulfilling. So your person chooses you, even if they're the one who's got a lot of romantic choices and they're being pursued by other people, they're choosing you. Or this could go the other way. You're choosing your person and you're being pursued because you two see each other as a star. You're the one that um, rejuvenates them. You're the one that they're hopeful about. You bring a lot of faith to this connection. 
So that's what's coming up for me. Now let's move on over. Let's take a look at how your person is seeing you. They see you as a world card. They also see you as the Eight of Pentacles. Now the world card is about completion. You've worked really hard and you're almost to the finish line in some way. So make sure you do not quit because you're really close. You're definitely in need of some well-deserved rest and relaxation. Don't be afraid to take it. You're getting closer to who you really are at your deepest levels. Now when it comes to work, there's a very good chance that you're working way too hard for far little recognition and money. It's important if this is the case, toot your own horn. Just like Donald Trump does. He's always tooting his horn. Toot your own horn a little and make sure that the powers that be don't accidentally overlook your many positive accomplishments. So this is how your person is seeing you. The world card. They see you as the end of a journey. Now, let's clarify this because it's pretty vague. The Eight of Pentacles is below the world card for how they see you. Eight of Pentacles is about necessary efforts. You have a lot on your plate that you have to accomplish. Dedication is important. If you try to make it work for its own sake, it's going to be counterproductive. So be clear on what you're trying to accomplish. Strive for balance. No one can or should work all the time. The Eight of Pentacles is a very, very hard work period. It doesn't have to be negative, but you have to be prepared for it. So basically, the person is seeing you you're ending a journey, you, you've come to a, you completed a cycle. So, you would, looks like you were trying to master something with this Eight of Pentacles. Because this man, he's, he's working into nighttime. It looks like it's after, late afternoon and it's about to get pitch black outside. And he's still working. And on top of that, it's pouring down raining. And he's not stopping. He has no intentions of stopping. So... It looks like your person sees you as trying to really work hard at this connection. Work really hard, putting extra overtime for it. You want to, you re, you're motivated about this, uh, about keeping this connection going, and you got a lot of passion for it. That's how they see you, but they see that you completed the, the cycle. Yeah. You, you're the, they see you at the end of, of your journey, so this is really interesting. Okay, so you got a lot of passion for this connection, All right, and, but you're at the end of a journey. You completed the cycle. That's how they see you. So you finish this connection, and it looks like you're, you're ready to move on to something else. Let's take a look at the rest of the reading so we can we can clarify this a little better, okay? Because <laughs> right now I'm 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 a little bit mm, thinking it, it can go a quite a few different ways. So let's go let's get back to those two, okay? Because it can go in different directions with this world card. But we're gonna move on over for, for now for how you see them. You see them like the Queen of Pentacles. And you also see them like the Ten of Wands. The Queen of Pentacles, it's about spending time, money, and energy on your home, getting it to be more comfortable. And this is a good thing, provided you don't take on too much debt, too much expenses. People will be looking to you for insight and or advice. And you'll be able to help them if you decide to do so. It's, a, it's going to feel like a time period when you're getting a whole lot accomplished with the Queen of Pentacles. Now below that, we have this Ten of Wands. You see this man, he's walking forward. He's walking forward, but he's about to fall backwards. So this is how you see a person also, like this Ten of Wands. 
and this Queen of Pentacles that we just talked about. Now, the Ten of Wands, you could feel like you're carrying some type of heavy burden. And you may want to look hard at this and see if there are ways that you might lighten your load. Either literally, literally, either literally or figuratively. If you look carefully, you may find that, find that part of the burden you're carrying emotionally actually belongs to someone else. So it's going to be important for you to pace yourself. Don't try to take on too much. Okay, so you see your person like this. You see them wanting to be comfortable in this connection. They want comfort, but this it feels like a burden sometimes. It feels really difficult, but they, they so much, so deeply want it to be comfortable. Yeah, they're wanting comfort, but it feels like a burden. Yeah, it could be something going on now in this connection, but they feel like it's a heavy load. Yeah, they, they just, they want it to be comfortable so bad. Yeah. So that's how you see your person. Now let's move over. Let's take a look at why it's happening. Why it's happening? Okay, we got the devil card and then we got this queen of cups now the devil card no matter what your situation just know that you always have options to choose from first things first don't let other people tell you that your options are limited if you come to that conclusion be sure you come to it on your own it will be crucial to remember that you can free yourself from whatever restrictions are holding you back at any time you choose to do so, you may have the feelings now that you're not in control of your life. Sometimes this happens as a result of your own actions, but more often as a byproduct of inaction, no action. So take action. Take whatever steps you can to give yourself the feeling, however slight, of being in control, even if it's merely a choice on what you're going to have for dinner. Small steps, they're important too. So, with this devil card here, someone could be feeling that they're trapped in the situation. Okay, now it's with this Queen of Cups. Now, this is a, a woman who could be very helpful to you. The Queen reminds us to bring love and compassion. And it's possible even if we work in a factory all day with objects rather than people, things are probably better in your world when you get this card. Um, they're probably better than you're realizing. So it's a positive outlook on a relationship, this Queen of Cups. Um, there could be some addictions in this with, with you or your person, Cancer. Uh, greed, envy, materialism, obsession, uh, heavy drinking, sexual lust. We all know what addictions are. Overeating is an addiction when you can't control yourself and it's causing a problem. So, also someone could just feel trapped. Trapped in this situation. And it's just out of control. But the Queen of Cups here is so, uh, which is a nurturing, healing, supportive type. So if someone wants to he help heal these addictions. Okay, because we talked about the present time. There's some competition romantic rivals. You or your person could be pursued by other people, a lot of other people or are being pursued elsewhere and it's causing romantic competition, romantic rivals, but they do see you as a star. You're the one that uh, shines brightly in their mind. 
and then they see you as a world card in the eight of pentacles they see you completing a cycle and you want to work hard on this connection it looks like you com they see you as completing uh the romantic rivals okay you're no longer they see you no longer fighting for dominance okay from the five of wands and you're willing to put all your energy into this connection okay so you're no longer dealing with all this other competition you're the star you're the one they want and they know that you're willing to work hard in this connection with this eight of wands okay so you completed that cycle of all these other people trying to interfere so that's what that was remember I said I had to come back to that okay so now we talked about how you see them you see them uh, finding this connection difficult and what's difficult in it is because there's some devil energy okay and they they really a person really wants this connection to be more comfortable with this Queen of Pentacles here Queen of Pentacles showing up here so it feels like a heavy burden because of this devil energy okay and uh, like I said devil energy could be a few things there are addictions in this connection that's that's making this uh, um, person feel like they, that there's a really heavy burden on their shoulders and they like I said they really want it they, can, they really want this connection to work they want it to be feel more like home you know they want it to be uh, a relationship that's satis satisfying for the both of you but they've got these addictions and um, they're glad that they have you cancer because they see you as this queen of cups that's very nurturing and you're being supportive of whatever's going on with this heavy burden here and like I said it looks like it's addictions because we got this devil card so this is actually a beautiful reading it really is uh, someone's got some heavy issues some heavy devil energy looks like it's your person and it's causing a burden in the relationship or with them but they know that you you're offering a lot of support and and you're very nurturing and um, they see that you're not dealing with other people you ch you've chosen them you see them as a, you see a person as a star okay so and they know you're willing to like I said work really hard to fix whatever is going on in this connection so this is this is a uh, effort teamwork uh, there's a lot of love in this reading because I don't think anyone would stick around uh, if there wasn't there's a lot of support here um, there's a big issue there's a somebody's got a monkey on their shoulders but uh, you two are willing to work it out work it out work it out work it out work it out